Hello and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be trying this mud mask by Bread. So I saw somebody on YouTube try it and I've seen it on Instagram and it's got me curious and I decided I would go ahead and give it a try. So that's what I'm going to be doing on the camera for you. And if you're new here, my name is Michelle. I'm a licensed hairstylist with over 20 years of experience. And on this channel, I use those 20 years of experience to help you have healthy, happy hair. The instructions on this say to put it in, it's a pre-shampoo treatment, so you need to put it in uh, prior to washing your hair. And I have some very dirty hair up in a bun, completely hidden. I've already brushed through it once at one point, and I'll be brushing through it again before applying this. It also says to dampen it before applying, so I will be doing that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do it in sections because of the density of my hair. I think it's just gonna help for even coverage. And now, as I'm doing this and brushing my hair out, apparently this is a detoxifying mask and it also contains some magnesium sulfate is my understanding. And magnesium sulfate is the curl enhancing ingredient that is in both AG Recoil and Jessica Curl Rock and Ringlets that helps to really bounce up and tighten your curls to the fullest potential. Now this ingredient only enhances what you actually have and it helps some of your lazier curls to kind of spring up. It isn't going to make your hair curlier than what it actually is. Um, it just, it you need chemicals that are found in perms to be able to do that. This is just something that just really, shr it shrinks the bonds in your hair. So it just kind of helps your hair curl to what it should be without the added weight of water or the added weight of your hair, or it kind of helps to counteract that a little bit by shrinking up those bonds. So it'll be interesting to see what it does to my hair. Um, I also just recently cut my hair and I cut probably about five inches off. So it's quite a bit shorter and it's definitely been freaking out after this last haircut and driving me insane. So I don't know what we're going to get when we finish this, but we will find out when I show you the results. Okay, so I have my hair section off like I mentioned I was going to do. So now I'm just gonna take my spray bottle and I'm just going to get my hair damp. And I could probably have just made it damp all over, but I find that with my hair, my amount of hair, it's actually better to go a little bit just section by section because once I get the whole thing wet, especially since it's got product on it, it ha it's not clean hair, it's going to just try to tangle itself back up again. So I just find this to be a more effective way of kind of getting it to be damp and then applying this on. And it says to also put this on your scalp first. It comes with a little seal there, so now I need to get that off. Okay, so the seal is tackled and we'll take a little bit to start with. I'm not sure how much I need. And then I think I already mentioned that it says to put it on your scalp, smooth it into your scalp, and then run it down the rest of your hair. So I have now put it at my scalp. I just slathered it on up in there and reached my hands up through. So I just kind of did something like this and dragged it down. And like this, and dragged it down. And now I'm just going to cover my hair. It is really kind of weird for me to do something like this on very dirty hair because typically when I do treatments on the rare occasion that I do them, I like to do them on clarified hair, but since this is a de detox treatment, it's probably gonna be overkill. Okay, so I'm just kind of working it through and trying to make sure that I've got it decently saturated. It's kind of hard to tell how saturated it is because it is a mud mask or kind of a clayish feeling to it. So it's hard to tell if I really have good saturation. And I also don't really want to brush it through because I really don't want this stuff on my brush. So next section down, and I'm just going in sections like what I do for styling. So from ear to ear, then the middle part, and then the top. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get this nice and damp and then continue on with the same process. 
which will probably get repetitive and I'll just kind of speed up through this process or cut some of it out and get to the end part of it. We shall see when I start to edit what editing me would like to do. This will probably be easier to see. I'm kind of getting it in at the scalp, working it in. Working it through the ends and then the same on this side. So I can see this not lasting very long because I do have a lot of hair so I'm having to use a lot. So hopefully this isn't something that I need to use very often. But watch me absolutely love it and become addicted to it and then I need to replace it because yeah, I have a lot of hair. All right, so last section, just getting it nice and wet again or well, damp, damp not wet, damp. And I am brushing through after getting it wet just because, like I said, with the whole tangly and all of that, it's just gonna be a lot easier to evenly distribute this if my hair is not quite so tangly. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it to the top and really get the scalp. And so far, as far as how it feels on my scalp, um, I mean, I haven't really noticed anything one way or the other. Like I don't have, it's not got anything in there that causes your uh, scalp to like tingle or anything. So sometimes there's um, peppermint and I think it's peppermint that they put in scalp treatment sometimes just to help make your scalp feel soothed. And I don't really feel that. So um, I'm not sure. I think this is probably, like I said, just um, a detoxifying mask. So just kind of helping to clear out all of those follicles, make sure they're nice and open so that you don't have hair loss from clogged follicles. That would be bad. But after I've had this on for the recommended amount of time, which is 20 minutes, I will come back just before jumping in the shower and I will give you my thoughts on anything that I am feeling, if it's causing itching, if it feels soothing, whatever. I will go ahead and report on that before washing it out. And then once I wash it out, I'll probably just skip to the end after I've had my hair styled and show you what the results of it are because I don't think you're gonna be able to see too much when my hair is wet. I think I think I'm fully covered in hair mud. Okay, so now that I've got all of that in there, I'm just gonna go ahead and pile my hair up on the top and just put a clip in it. And then I'm gonna cover it with a processing cap, which is something I like to do with any type of pre-shampoo treatment or any sort of treatment that needs to be on for longer than a few minutes, I will stay out of the shower and put a cap on, mostly to contain the mess. Uh, not a lot of treatments need to have this on there, but this will help contain the mess, so I'm all for it. And um, then there are other ones where it just kind of helps keep it from drying out too much. And then there are treatments where it helps to retain the heat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this, mostly for the, like I said, to keep the mess here and not have muddy hair hanging all over me and getting in my way. So I will be back in 20 minutes and take my hair out of this and report on what's going on with my scalp. We're at the end of the 20 minutes and I've let my hair out of the plastic uh, processing cap and took it down because I'm about to get in the shower and wash all this off. And at first my scalp felt a little bit itchy, but I think it was just because it was adjusting to having like mud on it, which is not, you know, a normal typical thing. But now it feels just fine and we'll see how it feels once I wash it all off. And then my hair is, well, it's, it feels like it has mud on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash this off and I'm gonna do a double cleanse, which is what I typically do every time I wash my hair. I do have, a, I do have an oily scalp. And because of that, every time I wash my hair, which is every three to five days, depending on how lazy I am and how far I keep wanting to push it out because I don't feel like doing it. When I want, even just going three days, 
I will still do a double cleanse just because of how oily my scalp is. It's just what works what best for me so I can make sure that my scalp is nice and clean and those follicles are not clogged. So it'll be interesting to see how all of this works with my more oily scalp. So I'll be back with completely done hair. And here we are with the finished result. And I have got some really, really light, fluffy, bouncy hair, which normally my hair doesn't feel very light. I have very heavy hair. It's coarse, it's high density. So typically my hair feels just really heavy. And the thing that I notice most about it is how light it feels. And my hair feels, it does feel like I've got products on it right now. I completely styled my hair and I've used these products before. In fact, they were part of my favorite combos video. So I'll put a card up here if you want to check that out. I used the Bounce Curl Clump and Define Cream followed by the Bounce Curl Light Cream Gel and then the Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic Gel and followed it of course with my Aquage Working Spray and then I diffused and I've scrunched out the crunch with the Verb Ghost Oil and these are the results and my hair just, I'm really amazed at how light and fluffy and airy my hair feels and not that it feels heavy when I have these products on it normally but it just does feel a lot lighter and also just a lot softer and like I just don't have anything on my hair and these don't usually leave a producty feel however it just feels even more like I have nothing on there so I do really like that and as far as my scalp goes I don't usually have scalp issues. I really only get an itchy scalp if I've gone too long without washing. So my scalp feels just fine. I mean, that also feels nice and clean, just like my hair does. And, you know, as far as my curls, I mean, they're nice and curly. And um, some of my lazier curls have curled up a little bit more. Others are still being a little bit lazy. But the whole point of this is to basically detox your hair, not necessarily curl it up a little bit more and I think it definitely does that and let's give it a little bit of fluff to see if we can get some volume. So we got a little bit more volume out of this and um, the frizz situation is looking pretty good but we aren't really looking at those types of things because this is more of like I said a detox mask. So I don't know I really like it so far I definitely will be trying it more times in the future to see what it really does or how long this effect of making my hair feel nice and light, how long that effect lasts. So anyway, hopefully you found this review helpful. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.